hello cappies I missed you guys I hope you're doing awesome let's do your reading so we're gonna see what's coming toward you what's entering your life what you'll be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for your highest good and of course we're gonna ask about your soulmate uh, to see what's going on in their life whether you're currently in contact with them or not we're gonna see what's entering their life that you are allowed to see for your highest good and of course we're going to ask how your soulmate is currently relating to you at this time especially emotionally what's in their head so let's see universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of capricorn for capricorn's highest good please universe what's coming towards capricorn what will capricorn be dealing with facing i see one extra showing up already <clears throat> Cappies, wow, Empress, beautiful energy. Wow, look at this. So, some of you may have had recently birth, uh, whether you gave birth or somebody in your family gave birth to a baby. Uh, in this particular deck, the Empress is holding a baby, and here it is emotional joy fulfillment in the family so some of you uh, had new arrival of a new baby in your family wow this is you feeling beat up by life but strong resilient wow waiting on a communication from your soulmate you've been waiting so even though this is the nine of wands which is often called the wounded warrior and you are shown here in this particular deck uh, on the ground. Your shield is down. You holding the Ace of Wands, the one wand, meaning you're not giving up on the soulmate connection, even though there hasn't been communication. Uh, this is you um, trying to understand why this connection is so profound, is so strong, why you're not able to let them go, forget about them, release them. But this is you having some kind of joy, happiness uh, with your family. <clears throat> this is beautiful. Let me see the extra. Yeah, look at this. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Empress. Emotional fulfillment, joy, happiness, celebration. Some of you may be experiencing problems with your health so of course you know you need to keep on top of that <clears throat> um, let me see more detail universe please step in show very clear and important messages what's coming towards capricorn what will capricorn be dealing with facing wow look at this this shows your financial independence this also shows birth of new business venture for a lot of you uh, for those of you who haven't welcomed a baby into your family, this is birth or expansion of business, business deals. So a lot of you are your own business owners, are successful and are expanding or thinking of new ways to expand and will be successful. I'm curious what's going to show up on top of um, the moon yeah you see you're not giving up on your soulmate so here it is reminiscing about them thinking of them missing them uh this is past life connection that's why it's so intense because you guys are connected on a soul level from past lifetimes yeah so that means they connected with you too you see here it shows marriage so this is what you want with this person if you don't have it already you want this ultimate commitment with this individual <clears throat> so of all the people you met in your life this is the person that you truly want a lot of you are dealing with the virgo capricorn taurus taurus again scorpio cancer pisces leo sagittarius aries pisces again you have people around you that are interested in you admiring you uh find you attractive successful charismatic enigmatic people are attracted to you you seem successful 
uh, but you are not interested in the other people you are interested in your person that you feel this profound bond with here it is nine of cups wanting that uh, connection to develop uh, to higher levels with this soulmate Wow so it was toxic in the past something happened something happened with the two of you broke up maybe they walked away um, a lot of you are dealing with Leo also Taurus showing up here um, this shows to me <clears throat> that this person was previously in a relationship with somebody most likely married relationship and they had to divorce or separated legally this person went through a lot of drama in their past relationship maybe that's why they couldn't be with you or around you let me clarify this moon card universe please clarify this moon energy for cappies silent treatment no communication this also shows that you're not done with this person you have a soul contract here it shows wheel of fortune a lion holding the sword of truth a lot of you are dealing with the leo and uh you're not done with this person so there will be um an opportunity to reconnect whether you extend the olive branch or they will or you bump into each other there will be another uh opportunity to reconnect with this person this shows very strongly the combination of these two that uh, you are very advanced when it comes to psychic arts cappies whether you male or female showing up here as communication with the divine you're very connected even when you are awake doing something perhaps at work you you get downloads and messages for example you may have a, a bird's feather fall down unexpectedly in front of you that's your spirit guides communicating with you letting you know that when you feel down alone depressed abandoned confused fearful or any of those uh that you are never alone they around you so go into prayer meditation take a little break and con reconnect with them again this is beautiful connection so you are very advanced when it comes to the psychic arts uh good business ventures whether you work for yourself or somebody else good financial investments um check up on your health on a regular basis because if it's something that's developing that is small you can control it and um take care of it <clears throat> it's important for people to understand no matter what age we are that we need to uh, at least once a year have a blood test just to check everything is okay and if something is off balance that can be resolved quickly if it's caught early so it's very important people do that on a regular basis especially men men don't like to go to doctors there are few here and there that i've met that don't mind going to doctors but most men don't like to go to doctors but it's important to have at least blood test once a year to make sure that things are working fine <clears throat> and of course you need to eat uh <clears throat> healthy stuff no junk food yeah because we truly are what we eat the more junk we eat the more unhealthy we're gonna be so it's very important to be very stable and smart with your diet <clears throat> universe please clarify these energies for capricorns highest good you worry too much cappies you overanalyze you worry too much don't do this to yourself wow you worry about your soulmate connection so here it is six of cups again we're gonna see how they are <clears throat> you see so it is a soul contract the universe is gonna give you another chance to reconnect again these two cards repeating three of them repeating themselves nine of cups wish fulfillment uh, six of cups soulmate connection from past lives that means they think of you too they miss you too wheel of fortune <clears throat> yeah and the star you wishing hoping that this comes to fruition 
that the two of you will reconnect. You will. This is a soul contract you have with this person. But the ultimate outcome of this relationship will depend on you and your person, not on the universe. The universe does not control what happens in our relationships. It's up to us. They respect our free will actions. So... Uh, you're going to have another chance to reconnect with this individual. Here, the star is holding the two of cups. So a lot of you were together. Well, you were with this person in other lifetimes in romantic relationships. Uh, some of you may be dealing with uh, Leo, also Aquarius, also Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, uh, and Scorpio. Let me pull one more. Wow, so this person showing up here as attractive, uh, independent, knows what he or she wants. Uh, yeah, this person's powerful. Let me see what's going on with them. Universe, please step in. Wow, look at this. I just looked on the bottom of the deck, Three of Swords. So you are heartbroken. So for a lot of you, this person left. Uh, maybe left you behind because they had something to to deal with in their life. Yeah, they had a lot of drama in their life they had to deal with. You're very heartbroken. This is heartbreak. Three of swords. Let me see. Yeah, you guys left off on bad terms like fights, disagreements showing up here. Yeah, you see problems with communication. Yeah, they've been through a lot of drama in their life, your person, and they're not done because the swords are pointing up instead of down. So they have some drama from their ex that they're dealing with. Uh, they went through heartbreak. So most likely for a lot of them, this person has kids with that crazy ex that they have to deal with. My God. Let's see what's going on. Universe, please step in your very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn. For Capricorn's highest good, please. You see, again, three of swords. Universe, the soulmate of Capricorn, no matter what sign or gender they are collectively, um, what is going on with the soulmate of Capricorn? What is going on in soulmate's life? that Capricorn is allowed to see for the highest good? And how is the soulmate of Capricorn currently relating to Capricorn at this time, especially emotionally? I feel one extra. Oh my gosh, Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords. My goodness. They view you as very dependable, solid, grounded, independent, wise with business. My goodness, I'm going to clarify this King of Cups. This person loves you, but it's not telling you. This person is trying to find a way to sneak back into your life. They understand and realize that they were irresponsible in the past. Perhaps the way they left you or left you behind because they had drama going on. Nevertheless, they recognize that behavior as irresponsible and would like to, but I don't like that they want to sneak back into your life. Instead of trying to sneak back, they should just uh, call you up and say, hey, let's meet and talk. Um, they're concentrating on their craft, finances, job, business investments. Let me see what else is going on. Universe, what's going on with the soulmate of Capricorn? They have their ex constantly breathing down their neck, meaning that a lot of them are tied through maybe some in financial investments or kids. If they have kids with this person of theirs, their ex is still a pain in their ass. This is you worrying so much. You worry too much, Capis. Wow. Look at this. On top of King of Cups is another King of Cups from another deck. That's a double whammy, double strong message. You love them and they love you, but neither one of you is 
saying to the other what you feel for each other. So both of you feel the same way and both of you are not discussing it, not telling each other, not showing each other. You worry too much, Capis. You worry too much. Don't overanalyze. Don't do this to yourself. Go with the flow. My gosh, this person has a lot of regrets. Your soulmate has a lot of regrets, sadness, emotional disappointment. They worry that they, they may have lost this connection with you. They um, are really concentrating on the past too much, dwelling on the past. Well, this is often called uh, crying over spilled milk. So this person is regretful. Silent treatment showing up here. So they may have given you silent treatment for a long time. This person is in love with you. This person loves you, but is not telling you. They want to come in grounded with solid energy. So here is you and them as king of uh, pentacles, grounded energy. So a lot of you may be dealing with another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, but also Sagittarius is showing up here very strongly. Aquarius very strongly. You are very spiritual. You're very advanced because of all these cards, only one major arcana showed up and that is uh, High Priestess. You're very advanced. So no matter how much chaos you may have going on around you in your life, uh, make sure you ground yourself and ask for assistance. Uh, don't let chaos around you uh, control your life. Silent treatment showed up for a lot of you with this person. Let me see what's going on over here with your soulmate. Universe, please show what's going on with the soulmate. This person misses you a lot. Five of Pentacles. In a love reading, this is a mutual energy. Uh, so you miss them also. This also means this person wants to be financially independent. They don't want to depend financially on anybody. So this is good. This person is not a gold digger. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. Yeah, this person works a lot, has a lot of responsibilities on their shoulders. Virgo again. No matter what sign you dealing with uh, this person showing up here as very independent financially not a gold digger grounded most likely a Virgo but could be any sign whatsoever very attractive independent trying to make a decision they're trying to make a decision which way to proceed with this connection with you they're not giving up on you this person misses you they feel so alone they feel so alone uh, And they also trying to make a wise decision when it comes to their business or, or business ventures, expanding business or getting another job. Uh, this person is successful, though. They're not poor and they don't want to be poor and they don't want to depend on another person. So this person is ambitious. This person was struggling financially after the breakup with their person. But um, this person is on their way to success independence financial stability yeah this person is not a gold digger which i like let's see anything else you need to see cappies before we go into the uh extended reading emperor my goodness nine of wands hanging man strength a lot of you cappies are feeling especially men Capricorns, male Capricorns. <clears throat> you feel so inadequate in this relationship, <laughs> but that's just your perception. You're not weak. You're not inadequate. Just because it had uh, showed with some challenges uh, doesn't mean you're inadequate. This person had to take care of whatever drama they had in their life and couldn't be in your life at that time. But you're not inadequate. 
with, when it comes to your business, you're very strong. Uh, your work, also female Capricorns as well. You're very strong. You know what you're doing. You're very grounded. Some of you may be dealing with Pisces. Also Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Aries, and Virgo and Leo. Very strong energy. Wow, this is you taking control. A lot of you may be dealing with another Capricorn. You feel so bound to this person and you don't understand why. You feel like you can't stop thinking about them. You can't stop missing them. You need them. Uh, this is because of the soul contract you have. You have a very strong contract with this person. This is gonna, this is gonna resolve itself and be on better grounds. Look at this. So a lot of you wish to have this long-term commitment with this person. Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Um, let's go into the extended. And we're going to ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. Anything they're hiding from you have up their sleeve. Whether they're doing it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit, on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know, Cappies, whether it's about your business, finances, health, uh, job, family, or friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Cappies, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there.